Now with this existing model, we've got a regular bilinear pattern. That is, uh, there, the axis one and axis two, there's a difference of 90 degrees between them. Um, but if designed, we can achieve a staggered uh, pattern where the angle of the, the vertical axis is not 90 degrees. And we can do that within the pattern tool itself. So selecting the tool in the properties browser, and can right click, and we can edit options. But before making a change, to make life easier, we're just gonna roll back the state of our model to where the pattern is, just so it's less in intensive for uh, the software and to make it easier for us to check things without causing any issues. Um, now, uh, in this case, I don't need to activate it because I'm not adding any geometry uh, to the model. I'm just changing variables. So that's the reason why I haven't uh, set as active. But right click on the feature, edit feature options. And on the, the bottom right where it says by linear fill settings, uh, it's the second axis is what we're interested in. So at the moment it set um, that second axis is 90 degrees to the first. But if I change this and I put in a, a value of uh, 80, I now get a preview. So we're instead of it being directly vertical, which it was here, if I change that to 80 degrees and 70 degrees and so on. And so as the, the angle changes, I need the, the length here uh, changes. So it was vertical, now it's on an angle. So I need to change the length of that. And so we change the, uh, the length of that and so on. So by making changes here, we can adjust um, the, um, the degree of our stagger for our model. So let's try that a little bit more. It's 85. And let's accept that. So that's rebuilt correctly here. And now we can roll back the rest of the part to the end. Roll back to end. The part's going to regenerate. And here we have our tray with a, uh, a staggered uh, cavity pattern.